Welcome. All right, so what exactly is a unit vector? So, uh, so far we've talked about vectors, right? And a vector, most commonly I like to deal with vectors that are in component form. That means they're going to have initial point at 0, 0, and they're going to have a terminal point, and they're going to have a direction and a, uh, and a magnitude. Well, to find that, you know, again, our magnitude, we can look at um, going through and finding the actual coordinates of our vector, which in this case, it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this vector has 6 and 6. So what we'd write is our um, slanted parentheses, so 6, comma, 6. All right. Now again, to find the magnitude, we take v is going to equal the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared. Well, in this case, if I was going to find the magnitude, I would have 6 squared plus 6 squared, which equals the square root of 72. So the magnitude is the square root of 72. So how is, what is this going to be telling us about the unit vector? Well, if you remember, we talked about angles that were not on the unit circle. right? And when we did those angles on the unit circle, we had to like create triangles and so forth. But there was something that was very special, that when we had something on the unit circle, it made our life a lot easier and sometimes more complicated, depending on how you think about it. Um, to solve problems. But when we knew there was points, that's a horrible circle, by the way. But when we knew there was points that are on the unit circle, we could evaluate for those angles, right? Um, so the unit circle was very helpful. And one of the, the reasons why that unit circle was so helpful is because we knew that the distance for any point on the unit circle, that distance was going to be 1 on the hypotenuse, right? Because what we do is we'd create right triangles, and we'd have a coordinate point and so forth. So when we're looking at vectors, you can see this vector has a magnitude of square root of 72. Well, what we want to do is a unit vector is a, is a vector that has the exact same direction. However, it only has a magnitude of 1. So if I was going to kind of create a unit circle here, all right, that unit vector is going to lie on the same vector but it's only going to have a magnitude of 1. So you know, what exactly are we doing? Well, what we're simply we're doing is, if you think about it, here's this unit vector. The whole distance of this vector is, 70, is the square root of 72. So really what we're doing, and we're going to talk about this a little bit more, is we're taking this vector, and we're going to be dividing it by our magnitude to get to this exact vector format. And we're going to have um, term, new terminal points for our unit vector, uh, which we'll get into on how to find the unit vector. But this is just your basic general understanding of what exactly a unit vector is. Thanks. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So